What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to add maps and spawn points to your server. So first you're going to want to go over to the workshop and find a map. We're going to use Pit Stop as an example. Make sure to read the descriptions as some map mods will require tile packs and sometimes other mods. Uh, this map requires two times textures enabled. Any mods or required tile packs will show up here in the required items section, so just make sure you download any of these. So just make sure you have all those and then you're good to go. So now that you have all the maps and tile packs, we're going to open Project Zomboid, go over to the host, click manage, create new settings. I already have some here, so I'm just going to choose edit. Go to Steam Workshop. This is where you're going to find all the mods you've subscribed to. Add in the map and any tile packs. We need three tile packs and Authentic Z, so I'll add those now. Once you've added the map and any required mods, click the section called Mods under the Steam Workshop section. Some maps will have multiple versions, so make sure to remove any extra versions as you only want one. Um, having more than one version will cause multiple, like tons of issues, so just make sure you only have one selected. Next, click the map section, and we want to add pit stops so the server loads the map. This section here will be the maps that your server is using, so if you don't see it in here, it's not going to load. The map should automatically be added to the spawn regions. If you would like to force the spawn, you can add in the coordinates. Um, if you want everyone to be able to choose their own spawn, leave this 000. The first two values will be the location, and the last value will be the floor level. I'd recommend a mod called Position Breakdown. It will tell you the coordinates of where you are standing in game. That way you can precisely choose where you want everyone to spawn. I'll leave a link in the description. And that's about everything for adding in maps and spawn points. So we're going to save this back out, and I'll show you how to put this into your server. Open up G Portal, go to My Servers, find the server that you want to add maps to, open up the panel. Now you can add maps and spawn points manually, but there's going to be a lot of room for errors and mistakes, and then you have maps not loading and spawn, spawn issues, so I'd highly recommend using the FTP to drag files in, and just make sure you have all the other settings and mods that you would like to use in your server in the settings we created earlier, and you won't have any issues. Click status to see your FTP access info. Gportal recommends a program called FileZilla. That's what I use and I've never had any issues with it. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Once you have FileZilla installed, connect to your server using the FTP access info provided by Gportal. Click the quick connect button and you are now connected to your server files. You'll get a little window open up saying it's insecure connection. Just hit allow and hit okay. Don't worry about it. Delete whatever settings are in the server folder as we want to use the ones we created earlier. Now we have to go find the files that we created earlier, so let's do that. Open a file explorer, go to C drive. Click users, select your current user, scroll down to find Zomboid, and then click server. Drag and drop these files from server into your FileZilla in the server folder. And be sure that they are named server test or they will not load. And that's it. Now you have any map spawn any maps, spawn points, mods, and settings you created in Zomboid. And if you start your server, you can see that the map has loaded and your spawn points will be set. If you guys have any issues or questions, I'll be happy to help. Leave a comment in the description. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and if you guys are launching a server with Gportal, use my link in the description for 10% off your first server, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.